from the Tri Dyes and welcome first, so that's nice. Um, so basically tonight we are just going to give you an overview of the club, um, the training aspects, how we're going to do that, and also all the trips we're running and basically how we work as a club. So let's get started. Um, who are we as a club? So basically we are a BZAC branch. Um, BZAC stands for British Sub Aqua Club. Um, we're also part of the OM sport, like club bubble kind of thing, but luckily with us, uh, you don't actually need a David Ross membership, so you know it's a, a bit less pricey than some other clubs. Um, obviously, we're also a diving club, so we like cater for all diving abilities, so you can be a complete newbie with us and we can get your qualification going, or you can be really silly, you know, advanced and do all kind of tech diving stuff. Um, so it's really, you know, where you're at on that scale. If we start off with some brief introductions, um, we've got the committee over here, and um, so if we just go through what your name is, what your role is, and what you study at uni, I'll go first. My name's Jemima, um, I go by Jem normally. Um, I am president this year, so if you have any general inquiries about anything about the club at all, just come to me. Um, and I'm in third year now, studying biochemistry and genetics. So Chris, do you want to start? Hi, I'm Chris. I'm Josh, I'm the kit officer, and I'm a third year aerospace student. I'm James. <laughs> <laughs> I'm James, uh, the training officer, and I'm a third year civil engineering student. Cool. I'm Dabs, uh, I'm the diving officer, I am no longer a student, as you might have guessed, um, but when I was here I studied physics and then did a master's in entrepreneurship. I'm Alex, I'm the general secretary, and I'm a fourth year law student. I'm Ben, uh, I'm the boats officer. So I look after the two ribs we've got, um, and I've just finished a physics PhD. And I'm Katie, and I'm vice president, um, and I pretty much just help out the other committee members as and when they need it. Um, and I'm in the second year of a PhD in environmental epidemiology. Brilliant, there we go. So I've finally got the presentation working this time. Um, so, let me go back a bit. Um, yep, so over to Daz, who's going to tell you about BZAC. Yep, yeah, absolutely. So, uh, BZAC, is, as Jim said, is a British South Africa club, um, so it's a nationwide uh, dive club that's been running for, for over 60 years uh, with internationally recognised training, so you can go anywhere in the world and people will know what your qualifications are. Um, at a basic level, the qualifications are very similar to other organisations you might have heard of, like PADI or SSI or whatever, um, but, uh, or CMAS, but um, it's, it's absolutely the same in terms of being recognised with the same standards and all that sort of good stuff. Um, BZAC themselves are split into different regions throughout the UK um, and we've got some broad branches as well. Um, there's something like uh, 800 branches if I remember correctly, you probably don't. Um, but we've also got a, a set of regions and these regions run additional training events. So um, while we'll run plenty of different events and lots of training, we'll talk about that later in the presentation. Um, the BZAC itself run a load of training events that you can join and go to um, and uh, do additional uh, training such as skill development courses. Um, when you join BZAC, uh, you also get third party liability insurance, which basically means that, that you know, if anything happens to you from another member or something happens to another member that's caused by you, you're covered through uh, our insurance up to whatever liability cap it is. It's 10 or 15 million, it's quite a lot of money. Um, so you shouldn't have too much to worry about. Um, just to point out, that isn't medical insurance. We've got the NHS, so we don't need medical insurance. It's about uh, the liability, just to be clear on that. So, what do we do as a club? What will you be, you know, joining us with? So, firstly, I'll go over these in um, a few more slides. But we have our trips, uh, which are very exciting, especially you know when you get qualified, you can join us with those. Um, training as well. James is going to come back briefly later, um, because obviously, dependent on whether you're coming to us as a newbie or you've already got a qualification, um, it would depend on which kind of uh, qualification training program we put you in. Uh, but James will cover that, and obviously socials, which is um, very exciting. So the exciting part is the trips, what trips we've got planned. So how it runs with us is basically we have a few annual trips that we run each year. Um, some of these are training, like the Cape and Ray and Bobster ones. Others are more social, like lakes. And then we have like um, abroad trips and Easter trips and also the summer trip. 
So um, one trip that's coming up, which is very exciting and open to all qualified divers, even if you're joining us new this year, is our um, St. Abbs trip. And that's at the end of October. And so anyone can come on that. Uh, the tickets are quite limited with that one. So if you do really want to come, make sure you get them. They're on the SU site. Basically, it's just a uh, weekend of diving in Scotland. Really good fun. Um, so it should be a good one. Uh, we also have trips to, um, we've got, uh, Isle of Skye booked for next June as well, which is a week-long diving trip. Again, really exciting. If the weather's anything like it was this year in Oban, we're in for a treat because it was it was pure sun all week. It was gorgeous. Um, yeah, but apart from that, we literally go anywhere with our trips. So in summer, you'll often find that uh, we have one-off trips. So basically, this is people from our committee or even just alumni members organise a weekend dive trip somewhere on like the British coast. So this year we've been to like Weymouth, uh, Plymouth, Barn Islands, so many places. We've got people in London at the moment who I'm very jealous about because they're diving with seals and apparently they're very, very friendly this time of year. So again, you've got that to look forward to as well. Um, we also have one-off trips to possibly abroad places. So this year, or even next year, we're hoping to go to Malta. Um, this is, we haven't done an abroad trip for quite a while because of COVID, obviously, so we're really hoping that we can run this one. Normally that's around Easter time at the end of the Easter holidays. Again, really good fun and a bit warmer as well in comparison to most of our dive, dive trips. Now, training. I'll pass over to James for training. Okay, so just a bit of an overview here. Pardon my throat. So we've got our ocean diver training. This is if you've never dived before, and uh, once you've got it, you'll be able to go on most club trips, including the trip to Sky, Jen mentioned, uh, the abroad trip. Uh, after that, we've got our sports diver training, to do some more skills, uh, and it lets you go uh, dive a bit deeper or for a bit longer. And then after that, we have dive leader training, um, where a bit more skills uh, can learn how to look after someone else. So, as it says on the screen, um, all the course fees are kind of included. You just need to buy the visa training materials, which are very reasonably priced. And as all our instructors are our lovely alumni, uh, like Dabs over there, um, it's very reasonably uh, kind of yeah, very reasonably priced. Um, so it's far cheaper than doing it through kind of a uh, commercial uh, dive shop. So you can see here some equivalent qualifications. So if you've already qualified and you want to train with us, um, you can see what the kind of next visa qualification would be. Equally, perfectly welcome to carry on diving within the club with your current qualification. But very quickly, let's say you were a paddy rescue diver, you can see the next course you do with BZAP would be uh, BZAP Dive Leader. But if you want any more details on this, you can come ask at the end. Uh, so ocean diving training. Uh, if you can't dive, this is really the training you want to be on. Um, so it consists of, it costs around 150 quid. That includes your club membership, pool sessions, and the training material, and of course your BZAP membership. It's got six theory modules, which we've done over three Monday evening sessions, five pool sessions, which we do on Thursday evenings, and some open water lessons. There'll be option of going, the option to go on our Cape and Ray trip uh, at the end of November to complete these, which is a really great weekend. Or you can do it at our uh, Stony Cove, which is a relatively local training site. We've then got sports diver training, relatively similar format, uh, so less pool sessions. And that can be done uh, just on stony days or on our bobster trip, which we'll be running in spring. Uh, and finally, similar thing with dive leader, of course, slightly different training, but kind of similar stuff. Finally, advanced diver training, uh, really going up another level, a bit more self led, uh, kind of about organising expeditions, that sort of thing. But if there's anyone that applies to the club, would obviously be able to support and help you out with that. Finally, we have skill development training. These are a bit more self contained one off courses. Um, so these have got a whole range of them, and if there's one you're interested in, chances are we'll have an instructor uh, who's able to teach it. So if you can find a few people who want to do it, you can probably do it. But here are some of the ones we've got planned for the year. But uh, yeah, any questions about training, come ask me or someone else on the committee at the end. So just a little bit uh, about the kit. So uh, in terms of kit, at the beginning of the year, we get everybody to buy fins, boots, hoods, and all that sort of stuff because it's quite personal. Uh, when it comes to trips, kits are always included, and in terms of training, all the kits free. 
But if you wish to take the kit on a little trip yourself, then we usually charge just a little bit for maintenance. Uh, as Ben said, we've got two ribs which we take out on trips. We've also got a big compressor in the kit room and then two smaller compressors for trips. And then uh, in case anything happens, we've got emergency oxygen kits. Um, so our social set can't be with us tonight, so I'm going to take over this one. But basically, uh, with the club, we, are, we have got quite a filled up you know, social calendar. Um, we have weekly pub quiz nights at the Johnson Arms, which everyone is invited to. It's a really great chance to like, uh, meet you know, older uh, alumni members, but also just a nice catch up during the week. Um, also, we try and organise like, fortnightly socials, whether that be you know, to the clubs or even just a bowling night and we are actually got we have a bowling night planned for the 5th of october which is coming up soon we haven't posted about it yet on our socials but it will be up very soon but again that's a really good one to um, come along to um, and we're also hoping to go out uh, for your pub pool afterwards so that would be good um, we have other socials throughout the year so we've got our christmas meal which is going to be at pitch and piano uh, piano piano this year um, that's normally about a good 30 of us go, have a really nice meal, pretend to be really fancy and all that. Um, and yeah, it's good. And we also have the lake strip, which I'm going to hand over to Casey because she's organised that. Yeah, so the lake strip is probably one of the club's favourite trips of the year, and ironically, it's not actually a dive trip. Um, so we go up to the lake strip, we all, this club, members who are current and alumni and we all stay in a big bunk house in the Lake District, have a sit down, three course meal, um, all in black tie. It's the only time of the year we actually look quite presentable. Um, some people will go for a walk around the lakes, um, some people just go and explore the town and other people might go for a dive in one of the quite cold uh, Lake District lakes. But tickets for that will go up by the end of the year and it's a really good social trip where you get to know um, members from so what's next? Try dives. So some of you might have come to our try dive event last Thursday. It was really good fun. Um, it's a great way to you know introduce introduce yourself to diving, see if you like it. You know, breathing underwater it can feel a bit weird and a bit different for people. So um, it's a great event to come to. So it is running again this Thursday. Uh, tickets are on sale for five pounds. And I just looked before this and our 8.30 slot is fully booked now. Um, we still have tickets for the 9.30 slot, so if you do want to come, make sure to grab them. Um, I do think some people are uh, having issues with the ticket sale. So if you are and you do definitely want to come, just message our Facebook page and I'll write down your name and you can try and sort out the final side of it later on. But yeah, we definitely want to get you guys there to try it. And signing up for uh, training, you know, um, as James said, all the different qualifications that you can get. Um, if you have any questions about that, please do ask him or just send an email to the training um, account. And yes, thanks for all for coming. Uh, we are obviously going to move charge of this for anyone that wants to come for a little drink um, and get to know us a bit. Uh, but any questions at all? Yeah? See if uh, you have a party license. Yeah. Um, can you still dive or do you have to do it again? No, yeah. you, can, you can still dive within your own qualification. So I started with Paddy and then converted. I, I carried my training on uh, with Visa. But if you just want to dive within your current qualification, that's fine. We'll, we'll do a minute, quick little check out, uh, dive at Stony or something, just make sure you kind of know what you're doing um, and check your qualification against the, the Paddy records. Yeah. Like I said, I, I was one that converted from Paddy, so I did Paddy Open Water and came along and I converted to BZAC and did my BZAC sports diver, but a lot of my friends, you know, they're still paddy, advanced, open water, and they do all the same tricks as we do, so, yeah, we're not, you know, forcing you to convert to our side, but, yeah. Yeah? We do have cookies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I just wondered your relation to doing the courses with the theory on mm. a Monday at 7. Um, I have a prior commitment on a Monday evening. Okay. Is there any way of doing them, like, online? Do you Possibility. The thing is with the training aspects is that um, it doesn't matter if you can't make every single week as long as you kind of make a commitment and definitely tell James if you can't make them. But we did last year because of COVID, we did them online, and so that is definitely you know 
an, another idea that we could add into it, possibly pre-recorded ones. There, there is also the visa he's learning um, yeah. stuff as well. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah. There, there's, there's definitely a possibility for online learning. It's a, a, a slightly different pack and stuff that you buy, but it's, it's possible. Uh, yeah. recommend coming in person if you can just because it's quite hands-on for some of the um, theory sessions but yeah we can work around it it's fine yeah yeah how can we go about signing up if we're like completely just doing it? so signing up that was the other thing i always missed out so we've got our computers here tonight if you guys need showing how to do it basically if you go onto our su page under student group tickets you can see the membership types and so it depends whether you've got a qualification already because you've got the novice membership or returner qualified diver membership, just buy that one, um, or be the one that you want. And the only other thing you have to do is if you do want to continue your training or you know start off with a qualification, is that you need to get our training packs as well. So they're all on the SU page as well. But if you want to stay behind afterwards, we can easily just show you how to do it. Sure. And yeah. Next oh yeah, we can do it now. the novice diver membership so if you're wanting to get qualification with us and you know train through that way that's the one you want the other one we have is that one so that's a qualified returner diver one um, so you'd have to get either of those and then as i said if you want to do the training with us um, then we've got these diver packs so basically we've got ocean diver for the new uh, the novices and then if you're coming over from a paddy open water and want to carry on with VZAC which one, uh, this is the one you need, just the crossover sports diver pack, instead of that one, basically. That, 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 the sports diver crossover is if you're paddy um, at open water or advanced open water. If you're a rescue diver, you want a different one. But just message us or come chat to us afterwards, we'll tell you which one you need. Yeah, cool. Any other questions? Yeah? Um, how long does it take to get Okay, I, I can give you a rough answer to that. So you're looking at eight <coughs> evening sessions that are probably going to be, if it's a theory session, about two hours, pool session, about two and a half hours. Then, if all goes well, you're looking at about two days at a quarry, maybe a third if you struggle a little bit at first. So eight evenings, two days, roughly. So you could have it done by Christmas, basically, yeah. if you try yeah. to, yeah, definitely. Very similar on how committed you can be as well. Yeah. Yeah. Any questions? If you've got any questions you don't want to share in front of everyone, just come and grab yeah. one of us. We're happy to answer. Yeah. Uh, so if, if there's anyone that uh, has done anything sort of technical before or is a bit more advanced or an instructor or something like that, come chat to me afterwards. Uh, that'd be great. Brilliant. Where is this? Oh, yeah, sorry. sorry. How hard is the theory? It's not oh. hard. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's, it's a lot of it's common sense. Um, <laughs> read, the, read the book. Do your lectures with the and it's good because normally There's practice questions as well, you can do online. Yeah, you yeah. normally go to the pub afterwards and say, you know, whatever happens in theory, it's okay. <laughs> By the end of the night, it can be. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. We'll wrap it up there. So if you do want help buying memberships, just come to the front here and we can sort you out. If not, uh, just <coughs> hang around if you want to come to Mooch and we'll make our way over for probably 10 minutes, maybe. So yeah, great. Yeah.